Final Horn post game show downstairs with Jordan Ernst and uh, Jordan. Obviously, great team effort from you guys at the tail end of this game to get back into it. But take me through your goal that ended up serving as the game winner. Yeah, uh, puck came back and they went DDD there. I'm pretty sure. And then I got up to Nemo. And Nemo made a really good chip. Just kind of thought the guy was going to hit me. He ended up didn't. Kind of blew by him a little bit, and then uh, knew I wasn't going to be able to get to my forehand, so I just tried to put it on net back in, and it went slipped through him. So we're uh, actually, I'll ask, what was the celebration? Uh yeah. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes it gets a little heated out there. I was getting getting a little energy from their bench, so I wanted to give it right back to them. So. It looked like it was like a bowling impression. Yeah, no, I made some uh, my, some eye contact with the guys, and I probably <laughs> held on to the celly a little too long, but uh, I made it known that it was for them. It was, it was a good one. Uh, you know what was awesome uh, also tonight is just all these Marvel jerseys. Have you ever been a part of something like that? Not so much where you're wearing a theme jersey, but when every guy is wearing a total of five different jerseys on the ice? <laughs> no, never. That was a first. <laughs> is, it, is it ever hard? to find guys I don't know because you look up for you know darks and white sweaters and so, is that ever a challenge like oh this guy's wearing green but what this guy's wearing red no it, it, well obviously first time night but I thought it was kind of easy obviously Macon's wearing white they have white helmets so it's pretty easy to distinguish who's on each team it works out and obviously talk about Macon I mean this team went up to nothing uh I know coach Trudell last night was very adamant about the effort he felt that it wasn't there uh, where do you guys kind of assess it? What was going on in the locker room in between both first and second periods? Yeah, I think we knew we were struggling and uh, we weren't there all the way, but obviously we came in, in the uh, end of the second there and we just said it's going to be in this locker room. It's going to be a team effort and we pulled it together. So, what? Uh, how big is Hag's goal at the end of the second? Oh, yeah, it's huge. I mean, that's just the momentum boost one for us going into it and two, they're like, well, now we got a game. All right. Talk about, uh, just to kind of wrap up here, I mean, this weekend's a tough weekend because you see a team uh, underneath you in the standings, and sometimes I think teams get guilty uh, of playing down to competition. Do you think that any of that is part of it? Is there a, is there a tip of the cap to make it in how they played this weekend, or, or does this team need to get back to structure before next week in Quad City? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of everything there. Um, you know, Macon did play well. They played hard, and they wanted it. And, uh, but also, I don't think we showed up, and obviously it showed. But if we uh, pull together for a full 60 next week on each game, we're going to be really successful. Well, that's where it is next weekend in Quad City. But the Rivermen do escape with two wins on the weekend against Mayhem. That's going to do it for the Final Horn Post Game Show. I'm Andrew Mossbrooks, Jordan Ernst, game winner tonight. Thanks for the time, Ernie. Thank you.